threw the ball pretty well. Um, early in the game, kind of got away from it a little bit. Uh, tried to attack early with fastballs. Slider was kind of being a little bit more cutterish today. Um, didn't have as much break as I'd like to, but at the same standpoint, we executed pitches really well and had a good game plan. And then obviously it makes it a lot easier when your offense puts up four in the first. The slider action you're talking about, do you think that was a result of the air here or just that? A little bit. I mean, it happens sometimes. Uh, I, I kind of throw both of them, cutter and slider, and occasionally one will kind of predominate or dominate the other one. Um, I threw one really good one for a strikeout um, to Garneau, maybe, I think it might have been, but um, for the most part, it's more kind of cutterish today than slider. So having the extra couple days off really not a factor? Did you feel a little bit in the first couple of innings? Uh, I mean, first couple of innings, a little anxious, obviously being on a big league mound and on top of having not thrown in 10, 10 or so days or being the first outing of the year. So, uh, But no, I mean, kind of settled in there nicely in the second, third inning and was able to uh, to get some relatively quick outs there. The catcher said that before the game, or no, said during the game, you show no fear. And that's not always the case with guys that have a new pitch here. I think they've been pitching here for the first time. And they gave up a lot of fly balls, but they were mishit fly balls. What was your mindset coming into this place? Which could be, could be nasty. Right. Um, I, I was fortunate enough, or I guess, I don't know if you want to say fortunate, but I played in Albuquerque uh, in 14, and it plays very similar. Uh, obviously, the game plan going in wasn't to give up five balls, it was to kind of get ground balls. We were very fortunate that a lot of those five balls were very missed hit, um, but we had a good game plan going in. Um, a lot of Hedgy and Balls do a great work of getting a good game plan. We were able to execute and got out from it. With the last at bat with Arnado, did you throw four sliders in the last four pitches? Do you remember? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Uh, predominantly with him, we kind of came in every once in a while with heaters. Uh, I was kind of pulling that slider a little bit, and like I said today, it was kind of more cutterish. So, I mean, even if it was starting kind of on the outer half, it was really kind of running off. And, uh, predominantly, I would, or I'd rather kind of try with a slider, start in that same spot, but kind of have more downward depth. Just today, it wasn't working. Can you sort of sum up what this week has been like? I mean, you're getting ready to start at El Paso. And yeah, it's it's definitely been it's definitely been a crazy one. Uh, I can't say that I would have wrote it up this way, but at the same time, point, I'm happy to be here. Um, ecstatic about the outing that I had today, and hopefully, kind of continue to build on it. What does it mean to you overall? It's a, for another opportunity up here. Very grateful. Um, very grateful. I know kind of that the year I had this past year in, in 16 that uh, there could have been very few teams that would have uh, given me opportunities. And fortunately enough, the Padres saw something that they wanted to kind of uh, take, a t- take a chance on and was able to do a whole lot of stuff this offseason and was really eager to get back and show that I do belong up here. Can you imagine pitching on a shutout for uh, imagine no. Um, at the same time point, zero is anywhere I'll take it. So um, it, it was kind of the goal going into it. Uh, obviously, you want to put up as many zeros as you can um, here. You know, even if you give up one or two, as long as you're solo shots, you're you're predominantly in the game. And that's the biggest thing as a starting pitcher. You're just trying to keep your team in the game as long as possible. What's the feeling of you know of being back and, and, and getting? Getting such a strong performance, and was I don't know if that was a monkey on your back that that one game in the majors before, but to be able to effectively erase that with uh, with this it, performance, it's a little bit of relief. Uh, obviously, that first game didn't go the way I planned. Uh, even when I look back on it, sometimes I mean, there are a couple key situations that you know if I let the ball go there in the first inning, we get a double play, and I'm out of the first inning with maybe two runs rather than four runs, and. Uh, a lot of those what ifs. So it, it's really nice to be able to come up here, uh, and have another opportunity, have another start, and be able to kind of show that that was somewhat of a fluke. But at the same standpoint, that the things don't or the things can turn your way. I think Andy said you, know, you never gave up at all during the game today. At any point, that seems to kind of epitomize what your career has been like. You know, to never yeah, give up. yeah. Um, as in life, I mean, everything's it's about ups and downs, and. Uh, no matter how low you get, you always need to kind of fight and stay back up. And, and that's kind of been my mentality since I was young. I've always been kind of a fighter and competitive and trying to do the best I can, uh, especially from last year. As for where I was mechanically and mentally, it just wasn't a great feeling. Kind of got some.